Anyway, I'm Thomas, and you are? Noe. Noe, nice yes, to sir. meet you, Noe. Yes, D-backs fan, huh? Yeah, something like that. Nice. Born and raised out here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, so how'd you like Dr. Mel's Quantum Healing Chrysalis? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, something different. I really tried something like that. I mean, you know, you kind of do things for yourself for like relax, you know, but I don't know, something like that just help move the energy for sure. Uh, you know, leave it, even stress-wise too, you know, like work stress, life stress and all. Um, and then just feeling it, you know, the vibrations, frequencies, the sounds, the noises. Uh -huh. Like I was telling her, like when I have my eyes closed and stuff, there's points where I was seeing kind of like little orbules of like light in a way. Nice. You know, and, and it kind of reminds me like kind of like when you look at a light, light so bright and then you close your eyes, you still see a little bit of it and you try to follow it and it goes away. Right. Yeah, I've had those. Yeah, I had that uh, while in the session and I was just like, oh yeah, that's, that's different right there for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. So would you recommend it to your friends? Oh, for sure. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people as of now don't, they're not really either they don't really know things that are out there or you know they haven't really done something for themselves to relax you know like one of the first questions mo had asked me why at one point was what do you do for relax what do you do for yourself for relax and i had you know you think at the top of my head you know you'd be like oh i do but no she stumped me with that question she's like you need to find certain little outlets for you you know that help you relax Right. And I know for a fact, even in my friend group, um, if I were to ask, you know, them that question, they'd be stumped for sure. They'd say, do what? Yeah. <laughs> but what do I do? Or like, what is that? To... I talk to them about certain things, you know, they listen to it and all. But for them to have tried it, you know, sometimes I push them to it, you know, like, hey, you know, just do go with it, bro. And then you'll, you'll notice what I'm talking about, you know, so like energy wise too, you know. Mel connected me with, you know, the chakras of the body that we're not just the body, you know. Uh, some of us sensitive to other energies. Some of us, you know, need a little bit more groundwork than others, you know, things like that. Um, and and me just working on that, like the grounding work, you know, like do things for yourself for relax when you go out and about. Like I just got back from the ocean, you know. Yeah. So I went in, you know, watched all the negativity, you know deeply embedded my feet and my hands in the sand you know type of thing and just just and, and kind of like absorb it in a way and then when i came back from that i was just like you know i left a lot out there i let that see take a lot of that negativity as well mm -hmm. and even felt refreshed and good and even with this on top like it's just helping even bring that even more yeah because we have this yeah. go 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 society oh for sure yeah, yeah. we don't have a chance you know we don't really have a reset relax. Or, yeah or reset like time a, or a chance to like you know like a day off to me is like it's not really a day off it's a catch-up day yeah you know, exactly projects that you need to do either at home or things you got going on and stuff like that but yeah we're just busy 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 to the point where it's like we overwork ourselves at time and you know doing something like this you know a lot of people might know, even even in the corporate world may not know, but if you could do something like this, you know, help you kind of bring away from all that, like, you just feel so much more relaxed, you know, less stress, you know, just kind of not worry over things that have no control over type of thing. And that was my thing back in the day. I was so big on, well, what if situations and what if this, what if that, and, and this and that, and causing just like a like a, a running mind a racing mind at that mm -hmm. to the point you're just like you need to just step back but some some things we just don't got control of you know and there's always a like my thing too i always ponder on the negative you know like no this went this way and and then i'll i'll ponder on that and she kind of helped me come from that too you know like no you can't we can't just stay stuck on there you know there's always you could even bring a positivity into a negative uh, negative situation whatever you know either a life lesson something you may learn something you went through you know you a lot of people ask for wisdom and you know you got to go through obstacles and things in life to obtain that wisdom you know say like something that's it for you uh, you live life you've seen it and then for me you know just kind of you know really like kind of living little by little and for me to ask like what would you tell yourself or me pretend I'm you at this age what well, would be a little bit of advice that you're giving me you know and me just listen to you because you lived it you live like you've seen it you've seen changes you know some of us get stuck in our mind and our mentions like 
but you know at one point in time you were at my age as well yeah exactly and, and you know went through life certain way you you had your obstacles you came and you obtained that wisdom from that you know and a lot of people like they go through something they're like man why me and it's like nah bro it's like you know you ask for wisdom and life is throwing you this is where you're gonna to get it, it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. right on yes, sir. well thank you so much oh, no you, way yeah it's great so uh, and so dr mel has been transformative in your life in, in multiple ways multiple huh? ways you know for years on time uh when i came to her my bipolar depression anxiety was just it was just bad some days i was good some days i was bad some days i'll be okay some days i won't be okay some days i'll be sad some days i'll be happy or some days I'll feel all that in in one day. And, you know, I came here and she connected me with that. And that's why, like, I'm big on the, you know, her asking me that question when I first linked up with her. And I still think of it to this day because I've even asked some of my, you know, friends, loved ones, what do you do for yourself to relax? Because I don't, I, like, after that question there, and she was just, you need to find things like that for yourself. And from that point on, let me know that my body is not just the body, where we have energies, we intertwine with other people, you know, the fact, like, like me too, she said, what, what, what is it that you like? I was like, I love scenery, I love nature. She's just like, use that as your outlet. And I was just like, well, in what way, punk? She's just like, and she would take me. This is what I need. You love scenery? I'll take you a place, you know? And she would, she'll take me somewhere. And she let me, she taught me how to, kind of just, you know, be there and in the ambience of nature and enjoy the elements around you at the time. You know, the wind through the trees, you know, the bushes and all um, that quiet, but it's not quiet, you know, the quietness there, but there's still noise all around, you know. It could be the animals chirping early in the morning. It could be the winds rustling through the trees. It could just be you just there and, you know, seeing the scenery and just, you know, soaking it in. And that's what was my outlet, and she taught me that. Well, if you love scenery and nature and all, throw yourself in there a little bit more, and you'll start noticing you unwind, and you even enjoy it, and enjoy your time and your own solitude. And that I got from her, my solitude, you know. And at one point, like, you know, I, I'd love it, and then she taught me to kind of just indulge in it more, you know. If you, if you had people around you, kind of have you feel a certain way for enjoying your solitude, you know, maybe they need to work on that as well. You know, maybe they're, they're just feel like they always have to have someone near to be, you know, sane and all. And at one point, you know, I even felt weird because they'd be like, how is it that you always like to be alone? No, it's not the fact that I like to be alone. It's just the fact that when I am alone, I'm on my time. And when I'm on my time, I get to indulge and relax more in the audience because there's times where I try to bring someone in to enjoy or show them an outlet like Mel showed me, you know, this is what I do for myself for a life. And there'd be times where, per se, what I call people that like to do a lot of low vibration activities. So, you know, I try to bring them into something like that to teach them an outlet. And they'd be like, so what are we gonna do now? Now that we're out here, what are we gonna do? So what do you mean, you know, just relax, you know? You know, I'm trying to take you off the city, bro, you know? release all that matter of fact i was like throw the phone in the car bro go pick up a rock throw a pine cone or something you feel me like get in tune with you know that younger self too just like when we we're kids we used to play pine cone fights all the time we used to go over there get the pine needles and split them and whoever got one end with the top supposedly could make a way yeah you yeah know? you know just revert back to that you know and because sometimes we live and you know we forget about that inner child and Sometimes we need to relive that little inner self and it brings like this joy inside you to the point where you're laughing. There's even times where I'd be out and about on in my, you know, my own time just by myself and I just can't help but laugh. But while I'm laughing, tears are coming out. But the thing with that is like, yeah, the tears are coming out, but I'm so happy and just joyful about where I'm at now in life compared to where I was five years back. and. If I were to tell myself back then, like, it's not stressing on things you don't have control over. Amen. I would have, I would have, I would have felt this a lot sooner, for sure. You know, and that's why I hold her up so high, man. Because she gave me these outlets, and I've never went back. Well, you're walking the path, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Noel. Thank you. Super. Thank you yes, so much. Sir.
appreciate that.